Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, we are gonna, oh, we are in so much trouble. Go jump, oh my gosh. Oh, we've got to run. What's going on, everybody? We are in a lot of trouble, a whole lot of trouble. Oh, we gotta go and take his track. This isn't even our track. Go, 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 go. All right. I was told that there's a train waiting. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. Oh, where are we going? Grain elevator two. We are going straight over. I don't even care. I'm not waiting. I don't have time for you, buddy. Oh, we don't even have time. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I stole. I stole late. I haven't stolen it yet. But there's a thing. That we got to take it. So you guys ever play Grand Theft Auto and is like, hey, you know, you've got this car. You've got to steal it. Da -da 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 -da. We've got to go take this car. We've got to go take this. Oh, oh slam on the brakes. Oh, we have got to go now. I think that we might be okay. Oh, guys, I think we made it. <laughs> oh, that was that was not fun at all. What's going on, everybody? A little bit different start to today. So, I've got guys. Okay. I've got guys. They're everywhere. You don't even know. They might even be here right now. We don't even know. These guys acquired a vehicle. Sports car. Yeah, yeah. And we had to come down to South America to get it problem uh the with the keys um so we had to get the keys from a mansion from a millionaire or billion i don't know whatever squad calls him <laughs> well i don't know if you guys know this or not this bazillionaire he's a tree hugger and he likes to keep things for himself oh no oh, <laughs> oh no we took it mr clutch if you guys didn't know clutch has well he's, he's purchased some land and right now he's on vacation and i got word that his car his sports car the one that we want is up here now, of course, we had to go get the keys first. Because naturally, he took his keys. He hid it all the way up here, thinking that nobody would come up here and look. But guess what? We did. Oh, I'm not going to stop in time. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Look, 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 look. I don't even care. I'm getting out. Check this out. Oh, that's, that's a thing. Look at this. Look at it. Yeah, baby. Hey, I gotta take a screenshot of that. That's all right. Yeah. So this is Clutch's car right here. I know, I know. These are Jim's colors. What's Clutch doing? Anyway. Oh the road rage, baby. 101 miles per hour. This thing will go. So we got to get out of here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Don't go off. 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 Oh, oh this is a, a tight, you know what moment. Okay, cool. We are good. We are in the clear. So what we've got to do is we got to get out of here. We've got to go. Oh, my gosh. We've got to clear dodge fast and soon because Clutch is going to be coming after us to get his car back. He's been messing with us and messing with us and messing with us, and I'm done with it and I'm tired of it. Clutch, you're going down, man. You're going down. Oh boy. Oh no. 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 I can. I can fix this. I can. We can fix this. See, I told you we could fix it. No problem. No problem. Okay. Let's get out of town. We've got to head back to Mercury Farms and put this away. I ain't got time for these people. Look out, look out. We rocking and rolling, baby. I ain't got time for you. Let's head on to Mercury Farms. 
We got work to do, man. Goodness gracious. Oh, no, not again. Go. Ah, oh, sweet. Kinda? Maybe. I need an adult. <laughs> Dang it. Back to Mercury Farms. We are back and we have the car. And it matches our truck. Very cool. And we've got a tree. I saw on Mrs. Aussie's stream and Mr. Aussie's stream earlier that they had a Christmas tree up. And Mrs. Aussie says she had to have it. So you know what? In honor of Mrs. Aussie, we've got a Christmas tree on our farm in the same place as well. So Mrs. Aussie, thank you for the idea. It is very, very pretty. So, a couple things we gotta do. Aw, we don't have any growth yet. Oh, come on, man. Why, why don't we have growth yet? Seriously? We ain't got nothing in here. We got nothing over there. Let's check this. Growing? At least is it growing. Okay, at least it's growing. But it ain't doing nothing. Hmm. Hmm. So it's growing. We just, just gotta get... Get sprayed. Hmm. I wonder if we can put down... I wonder if we can go ahead and put down the thing of... I think of spray. You guys think we could go ahead and spray it once? Looks like it's ready for it. Um, I don't know. Let's bump around to some tractors here. Nope, <laughs> that's a room. Entire jacket. Uh, what's in here? Case? No. No, we don't need the Magnum. We do need to put these away, though. So, if you guys had not seen, we've got uh, corn in here. And we are done planting it. So the corn is in the ground. I did all that off screen. I figured I was like, you know what? It's just, it's not that it's too painful to do. Cause it's easy, it's easy to do. It's just, man, it takes forever to get done. So we went ahead and put it in and I think we've already got two fertilization states on there as well. Yeah. We've got two fertilization states on that already. So we are pretty darn good to go there. One thing we do need to do is come down here. We need to go ahead and get this done. So one thing that I'm going to do is we are going to buy us a little sprayer. Nothing too crazy. Just a little sprayer to get the job done. And let's put that about... Eh, we can put it right here. Nothing's hurting us putting it there. Let's put that there. Let's go and get this stuff sprayed down because it is absolutely filthy. It is absolutely filthy. And normally I leave my tractors dirty. However, we're in seasons right now. If we leave these things dirty in seasons, we are SLO screwed. Plus, come on, man. The cases look really good. They look really good clean. So I want to make sure these look nice and clean. There we go. There's that. And let's get the Futterstadt uh, out. <laughs> I was talking with some guys that live in Canada, and they say these are very popular in Canada. So that makes me kind of excited to get the new stuff. Uh, if you didn't know, the Seedhawk in-game is actually a Futterstadt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and and so we will be getting the the huge Seedhawk thing coming in FS19, which I'm pumped about. I mean, I am freaking pumped about that also you guys are going to be seeing this video uh, about an hour before the um fact sheets come out so get hype for fact sheets one thing uh, you know what the ground is okay now we do have crop destruction turned on but i don't think yeah we're we're good we don't have anything in the ground right now so we ain't got to change the tires on these things. So we're going to spray them down once. And then I think what we'll do is we'll come through with a weeder the second time around. Man, look at the tires. They're already dirty. Daggummit. All right. Here we go. Fill this up. Let's get these filled up. And let's get a little bit of crop spraying. Heck yeah, man. We are good here. Let's go ahead and hit this big field first. This thing's a pretty massive field. Boom out. Let's go ahead and get this out here. Now, normally we do not use this sprayer. Uh, I think I've used this sprayer once. 
maybe. <laughs> it is not a yes I have or no I haven't. It is a real, real hard maybe. So let's drop that. Actually, somebody will complain saying that it's not down far enough. Well, well it is down far enough. It's as far down as I can get it. I can't get it. No lower. Drop it down low. low, low. In there, uh, drop it, drop it low, girl. Alright, oh, low, can you go? Sorry, it's a, I'm a DJ. There's nothing I can do about that. I cannot fix that. <laughs> that's a part of my brain that's just crazy. Alright, so this is going very well. Swimmingly, in fact, we've got quite a few of these fields to do. I say quite a few of these fields. Uh, what do we have? Three fields to do? It's not going to take a long time at all. But it's something that we have to do. So... Speedy. I think it's time for Speedy. Let's do it. There we go. Oh yeah. Now that's how you do it right there. Nice and easy and everything was good. And it was all good, baby. Yeah. Here's a couple things that we need to do today. One biggie. Don't don't freak out. Don't forget. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here's the thing. We need grass. Yes, we do. We need a grass area. Here's the problem. Guess what we don't have? You guessed it, that. DJ, what are you going to do about it, man? I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. We are going to get a tractor with a plow. And we are going to get a tractor, drop that off, with a planter. That's right. Oh, yeah. And we are going to go tear it up. That's right. Yeah, baby. Let's back up. Let's pick this up. This is going to be our planter, and this is going to be the tractor that we take with the planter. I think, if it can handle it, I should probably check. 270 horsepower. Planter needs 180. Oh, we are definitely fine. Definitely fine. You know what? Speaking of, could we even go with something just a little bit bigger? How about this horse right here? 270. <laughs> I do like it, and it will do seed. So, how's about we buy that, and we get rid of the cedar on the back here. The rapid, there we go. Nice. Now we've got this nice horse right here. It's not too big. One thing I do want to do, how about this? Let's go through and let's reset the puma. There we go. Because it's going to be right here. And we're just going to grab it and take it with us. And where we are going to be, it's going to be quite hilly. And actually, to be honest with you, I'm not sure we can get out of here with dual zone. We're going to try. Uh, we're going to have to put dual zone in order to get to where we need to go. So let's go here. Uh, actually, let's turn that off. Um, drive forward until vehicle stops. You must drive as far forward as you can. This is to prevent the vehicle from entering sleep mode. If you stop too far back, the vehicle will float in midair when bringing the car ramp back down. Hmm. That sounds like something I want to see. Yeah. Sleep mode. That's what I want. Take it. <laughs> oh, it's definitely going in sleep mode. Customize. Uh, engine, we do have the biggest in. Wait, do we have the biggest engine in there? Yep, we got the biggest engine in there. Wide tires, wheel weight, standard. Rear twins, that's what we want. Customize. Oh, yeah. Now, 
Sleep mode. Yeah! That's what we wanted right there. Let's jump in it. Oh man. Almost. Sorry, Jim. You know I had to. <laughs> Alright, so since we barely have enough horsepower to do what it is that I want to do, we had to slam on a little bit extra. Oomph! A little bit extra. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Another thing we need to do, we need... Oh, yeah, it's, it's already having a little bit of trouble pulling it now, to be honest with you. Well, let's swing around here. Take this back to the farm. Let's grab our Optum. And I think this actually might turn into our plowing tractor. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the plowing tractor. And the Optum is going to be our planting tractor. So I guess we don't need these rear duels on here anymore. But guess what? I'm not taking off. <laughs> yeah, if you guess rear duels, you got that one right. Let's grab our plow, cultivator, plow, ripper, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely not a cultivator. Let's grab those and let's grab our optum. I'm going to meet you at the animal farm because there's something you need to know right now. Now, this could have changed as of tomorrow, even. I don't know. I've gone too far. <laughs> this could have changed but I don't know if it has or not. Therefore, ah, crap, slow down. There we go. Fill up a seed, thank you. Um, I don't know if it has changed or not, so we are gonna assume that hasn't. Regardless, we are not gonna be doing, <laughs> it kinda looks like uh, uh, bull's horns on the front, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, that was dumb. <laughs> so there's a little bit of an issue with the sheep with the wool's pallets not spawning correctly. Well, I don't know about you, that's not a good thing. I don't care, I'm not gonna do sheep. But you might care. And guess what? You matter. Oh, too far, too far. Never know like where it is to put the thing. Is it at the very front, very back? I don't, I don't know. Let's go and switch this over to grass. There we go and fold it yeah there we go said i was gonna take that off nope we're still here guys we're still here now off to the cow field now fortunately for us it's on the other side of this so we're just gonna go there and we've taken a left now oh, we got a ripper right there too bad we're not using that ripper that would do quick work of what we're about to do however meh i don't care it's just a little bit more than we need. We just need this. And, and this little one. Like, the six meter, that's all we need. We really don't need much more than that. So, what you doing, you might ask? Well, I'm doing a couple things. Uh, one thing first. Field 29, that will be ours at some point. I'm going to take that field. And we're going to get all these freaking trees out of it. And plant grass. Yeah. But, one thing I'm going to do, because we're not going to have sheep, little baby sheepies, let's go and turn that off. Let's run over here. We need to turn on these little markers, because we are going to delete the sheep spawn point. The sheep spawn point. The sheep thing. We're not going to use it. We're not going to get sheep. And because we're already having a problem with it, we're not going to worry. So, we're just going to delete it. There we go. Take that out. Good. And all the little trees that were inside have now vanished. Very good. So, we've got this here. We need to get our Optum. And it looks like we're going to need a little bit of oomph. Let me show you what I mean. This is what I say when I'm talking about power, but not just any power. Oh yeah, Raybor Zylor power, baby! I got the power! Yes, we do. We got the power, we are gonna... Hey, hey Jim. <laughs> Why won't it let me do it right there? I... Why well, I wanna do it? Can... Oh, I see. Never mind. I actually have to go in and, like, do it so the, the 
I, 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 I see what you've done. I see what you did. I, I, I'm smelling what you're stepping in. I'm stepping in what you're smelling. See that sound weird? Feels weird to say. <laughs> All right, so we got that. We got that. So if you guys are wanting to do this, uh, I highly recommend doing what I'm getting ready to do. What I'm about to do is I'm going to take the sheep area that we are not going to be using because, well, I mean, it's not that we can't, but, you know, if we're not going to do sheep for wool, then there's no point to do the sheep. And if we can't get the wool, well, hey, no worries. I will tell you this, Alien Jim has sent a uh, update to the map to Giants, so hopefully they get it and hopefully they get it out to us as quick as possible. Uh, I understand that they have a lot to do. I do, I do understand that. But I tell you what, we want it. There we go, let's get rid of this stump. There we go, all right, I did it. A Little bit more, and then we'll be able to get in here and do what we really wanted to do. And what we really want to do is turn this field right here this whole field into a grass field. Now, in order to do that, we are going to have to plow it up, but this would have been the sheep's area if we would have kept sheep, but we are not. And this is the beauty. If you don't want sheep, you ain't gotta do them. You can take their field, plow it up, and make it whatever you want. How cool is that? We ain't gotta worry. We ain't gotta do nothing. It is what it is. I mean, look at this. I've literally removed the hedges. You think removable hedges are cool? Black sheep modding? <laughs> Get on Alien Jim's level. What's Jim doing right now? He said, oh, you wanna delete them? Yeah, yeah, do this. And while you're doing it, you can actually get the wood from it. And then a whole lot of people go, what? What? <laughs> Who are you cutting? Uh, and actually, to be honest with you, I kind of want all of this to be gone. I want this to come all the way down. I want access up and down to this entire field. And so I'm going to do this. And look, it's that easy. And check this out. Check this out. This is something really cool I saw yesterday. These bushes right here, this shrubbery, this just kind of ickiness, it's connected to this. Watch this. Boop. Gone. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, Jim, you, whatever got into you to make this map the way it is, which by the way, I will reiterate, the plans that Alien Jim had for this map, he had before, <clears throat> before Giants released how FS-19 was going to work. I believe he was, uh, he had came up with the idea for it and then he left town to go on a holiday. I believe is, is the wording that he has used for that. You know what? We could... You know what? Nah. I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I am going to delete this big old tree, though. Can I? There's this tree. Oh. All right. Um, maybe I need to come in like this. <laughs> We've got to delete this little spot anyway. Uh, let's see. Okay, there goes that. Nice, nice. Okay, so that whole thing just went. Now we just got this freaking stump to get rid of. There goes that. We still got this stupid stump. This thing. I want you to die. You. I see you. You see me, I see you. You die. Uh, I don't know how to kill this stump. I'm just going to leave it here and see if anything happens. Turns out if you want something to go away, all you got to do is just go on the other side of it. Bada bing, bada boom. Got he. <laughs> so we've done that. Now... We could do this. Let's put this away. That's good. This. Let's unhook. Go forward. And then drop it like it's hot. When the pimp's in the crib, my drop it like it's hot. I know. <laughs> I know there's a couple of you guys that just started dancing a little bit. 
Uh, golf cart jockey, I know you're one of them. You don't have to lie to me. It's okay. It's all right. It is okay. I understand. It's a fly song. <laughs> all right. So the good thing about what we're about to do is we're about to plant grass. So all these little jetties and entries and whatever, we can literally plow these up because it's all going to be uh, plantable, I guess. Plowable. So let's drop this down. I haven't done it yet now. There we go. Now, of course, since we are going to be using this as grass for our cows, whenever we do cows eventually, cows will probably be in year two. So you can prepare for that and you know exactly how to know what's going on with that. Chaff is going to be great. Chaff is going to be so easy to do. So this is what we're up to now. It's just a whole lot of plow this up, do this, swing it around right there. Ooh, we are really freaking close up here. Let's back off just a hair. That's a little, little too close, a little too close comfort. So we've got it kind of the way it is now. However, I will say I'm not going to completely overdo it because I have been known to completely overdo things in the past. I would make a list, but it's way too long. So I'm not going to. <laughs> so here we are, and we are good. Very, very good. All things are good. Yes, 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 good. So we're going to finish plowing this field up. And we're going to get grass in it, and hopefully it will start growing. We are in mid-spring, so we're realistically only going to get one, um, one harvest out of this. I think that is a very fair realistic assumption to make here so that's me making it <laughs> well guys that is going to be it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you know already, please subscribe if you know clutch don't tell him what i did that being said i hope you guys have a great day we've got some fun stuff planned for you this evening the live stream will not be at normal time the live stream will be at midnight eastern standard time so about 16 18 17 hours i believe 17 hours from the time this video comes out oh boy i'm gonna be up for a long time huh yeah long day we got the uh the formats are coming in lunatic com is in cows go moo will be returning for all you cows fans out there cows go moo will be returning i'm very excited to have him back we're gonna be running four harvesters and we're gonna be running two grain bins it's gonna be a lot of fun well anyway guys i hope you have a great day and we will see you later peace